right, welcome back this morning on Today Food Summer Grilling with Skewers. It's a fast and fun way to make a delicious barbecue dish. Here with some kebab recipes and hacks is chef and restaurateur Michael Schulson. He recently opened his new restaurant, Monkey Tail, at the Diplomat Beach Resort in Hollywood, Florida. Michael, good morning. Good to see you. Thanks. Thanks. Good to see you. So let's talk about our ingredients first. What are we working here with on a skewer? So I'm going to show you some really simple, easy things to do at home. It's what we do in the restaurant, but the novice at home, Really simple, easy, great for parties, great for hors d'oeuvres, great for appetizers, and it's robotiyaki. And robotiyaki is just the fancy name for skewers, okay? So we're gonna start out with a chicken one, okay? okay? Take some basic chicken wings, and what I like to do is put it in a brine. So I do about a cup of water, if you wanna throw that yeah. in there. And okay. how far ahead are you doing this, Michael? This is perfect to do probably two hours or 24 hours. And okay. then you're gonna put the salt in All of it? All of it Oh, in wow, okay. Like that thing and what this is going to do is this is going to give you a little bit of flexibility when you cook it. How many times have you gone to somebody's house and you have overcooked chicken? Yeah. Not too good. Well, okay. that's the thing about these skewers is you think they're easy, but so often the meat's overcooked. Right? And, and this is a great trick. So things that don't have as much fat, it's really good, whether it's a piece of steak, whether it's a chicken, put it in the brine. You want to do turkey is another thing. Put it in there and let it go for overnight. And then when you cook it, it's nice and easy. So we're just going to take some wings here, okay? And we're going to skewer them up. Okay. okay. So you just put it right through there. Okay. And I notice you soak the part. skewers. That's important. Why? Yeah. So soaking the skewers is really important because every time you put it on the grill, it burns. Right. How many times have you tried to grill yeah. and it burns at home? It's not fun. So if you soak it in water, it's a really nice way to keep it from burning. We like to use bamboo skewers, which give it a nice little flavor as well. So you put it in there, okay? And I use two because if you use one, it's just gonna constantly spin around when you're trying to do it. Got it. Okay, Okay. cool. One of the other things, you wanna make sure that you're not skewering it all the way out because then you're gonna burn the skewer. So scallops, okay? Mm. Everyone loves a good Love scallop. A scallop. Perfect for the summer. You're just gonna take it, uh, cut it in half. So that's what it is. Okay. Why don't like you take two skewers, okay. skewer that up. Just right through the middle. And if you don't have scallops, you could use shrimp, um, squid. So spread them out a little bit. Not bad, not bad, but you're definitely not higher. But a little okay. bit, yeah. So if you make them flat. Oh, okay. Guys, how does this taste over there while we're Good. Good. doing our surgery here? Chicken wings are awesome. Yeah, okay, so you they're eating it, already, yeah? I'm gonna do it the okay. long way. Yeah, so you just Got put it. it like that. A little lollipop look. Okay. Got it, okay. Another item you could do at home, you could do a steak, a filet we have here. Mm -hmm. So you just want to cut it into cubes because it's all about making it easy when the guests are here. Right. Okay, so if you just cut them in cubes. And then do you season this up as well, Michael? So if you would skewer this up, yeah. you yeah. So these, something like this, you would just need one skewer. Got it. Because it's not going to twist. Right, okay. okay. All you would do is put some salt on there, some pepper on there. And here we have it here. Keep okay? it simple, salt and pepper. Okay. Exactly. So we get to the grill, and a nice little trick that I have is I put aluminum foil on the grill. It prevents everything from sticking, getting too hot, and really creating a mess. And you don't get the flare up on exactly. the flame, right? Right. So put the kebabs on there. All right. Okay. So you could either do one of two things. You could put the fish on the grill right there, uh -huh. right on the aluminum foil, which okay. I like. And then you could put the meat, and the aluminum foil is actually going to prevent this from burning. And the chicken you like on the foil too? Yeah, I like the chicken on the foil, okay? okay. So we'll move on down here and I'm gonna show you what uh, yakitori sauce is, which is just teriyaki sauce really easy. You have some shallots, some garlic, and ginger. You put a little sake in there. You wanna pour ah, that in the pan? Absolutely. Which one do we like best, guys? We have a favorite? I like the scallops. Yeah? I love the chicken. You're gonna put a little mirin. Okay. A little soy sauce and some sugar. And you'll cook that for about 15 minutes. Okay. And all that is is just the teriyaki sauce. You have the sugar, all you put that? that in. And when you're cooking it for 15 minutes, this is what it's gonna look like. You pour it in a, sque in a squirt bottle. Ah. Okay, great trick. So if we go back to the grill. So while they're cooking, you just give them a little business? Sit there. I mean, how much easier is it than That's using great. a brush? That's great. Okay. Why didn't I think of this? And what's also great about this is you put it in your pantry. It doesn't need to be refrigerated. Put it in there, forget about it. Ready to go, okay? Can I taste one now? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You have chicken, you work. have the steak. You have the scallops. We happy, guys? Yeah, very, it's happy. very I'm good. My wife now, Siri's gonna say, "Where's my my spritzer bottle?" I know that's in. a great trick. I'm gonna that's steal it. That's ready to go, idea. right? Tonight for the grill, Michael. Yep. Thanks so much. Thanks, it's delicious. Mike. For the full recipes and more, head to our website today.com/food. Hello, today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.